A record number of women will be a part of our government following last night's midterms. Both the U.S. House and Senate set new records for the number of women elected. Washington correspondent Alexandra Limon reports on who they are and the impact they'll have. Election night was historic for women around the country and across the political spectrum. Women led the way to victory with at least 30 new women coming to the Congress. California's Nancy Pelosi will likely once again become Speaker of the House. Not only did we elect the first Latina from Texas to represent Texas in its entire history. Voters also elected the first two Muslim and first two Native American women to Congress. Republican Marsha Blackburn will be the first woman to represent Tennessee in the U.S. Senate. And Republican Congresswoman Christy Nome will become South Dakota's first female governor. More than 100 women will serve in the U.S. House of Representatives and 23 in the U.S. Senate. But that's still not reflective of the United States population, which is made up of 50 percent women. Democratic leader Pelosi says issues like health and child care are important to everyone, but female lawmakers should also focus on other things. It's because we view every issue as a women's issue. We believe the national security of our country is a women's issue, the economic security. Women also played a big role in flipping the House of Representatives to Democratic control, with 59% of women voting for Democrats, according to CNN exit poll data. In Washington, Alexandra Limon. One race involving a woman that has yet to be called is the one for Georgia governor. Republican candidate Brian Kemp says he is confident victory is near, but they're still waiting on final results in the close race. He's running against Democrat Stacey Abrams. She's uh, holding off on conceding to see if a runoff is possible. In Georgia, if neither candidate receives more than 50 percent of the vote, the race goes to an automatic runoff. During an election party last night, Kemp told supporters the math is on our side, but he did not claim victory. If there is a runoff, it would take place in December.